These lizards were first described by science in 1866. After that, they weren't seen again in the wild for over 100 years, at least by scientists. Because of this, crested geckos were believed to be extinct. In 1994, they were rediscovered by science. Since then, they've become some of the most common pet geckos around the world. It should be noted, however, that their wild populations are relatively unknown and listed as vulnerable to extinction as of this recording. Their numbers in the wild are currently reported as decreasing. So, if you're seeking out a crested gecko as a pet, be sure to get a captive bred one from a reputable breeder. Crested geckos live in New Caledonia, an island chain off the coast of Australia. They spend their time in humid, forested habitats seeking cool, dense vegetation along the forest floor during the day. At night, these nocturnal reptiles hop along the lower tree canopy in search of food. Their diet consists of insects, nectar, and fruit. Like other geckos, crested geckos have special, microscopic, hair-like structures on their toe pads that help them grip to surfaces. Crested geckos also have these pads on their tail, which is semi-prehensile and can help provide them further support. If they don't lose it, that is. Crested geckos can drop their tail, but unlike some other animals that autotomize, crested geckos do not regrow their tail. These lizards are found from 500 to over 3,000 feet above sea level. They live in rainy habitats that average about 73 degrees Fahrenheit in temperature. So, like tuataras, they actually prefer things a bit cooler than many reptile species. Room temperature is preferred by wild crested geckos. In size, they reach about 4.5 inches from their nose to the base of their tail. Their tail, if they have one, grows nearly as long as their body. They get their common name from the crests running along their heads and bodies. It's unknown what purpose they serve, though the head crests might serve to protect this gecko's eyes, giving it its other common name, the eyelash gecko. Crested geckos don't have eyelids and must lick their eyes to keep them clean. Like tokay geckos, crested geckos emit calls. These may be to ward off predators, which include many introduced species like fire ants, cats, dogs, rats, and even other geckos. The calls may also be used to entice a mate. Reproduction habits aren't studied from wild populations, but in captivity, male crested geckos may fight each other over a female's affection. While mating, the male may also bite at the back of the female's neck. She'll lay two eggs just over a month later, which will hatch anywhere from 60 to 150 days after. Temperature can speed this process along and also determines the sex of the babies. This happens in other reptiles like alligators and pond slider turtles. Hot temperatures in a crested gecko nest produce more males, while cooler temperatures produce more females. They're on their own from birth and take about a year to reach reproductive maturity. Crested geckos are believed to live about 20 years in captivity though more research into this could provide further information on their lifespan in the wild. For more facts on crested geckos, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for the support of this channel. Thank you to these viewers for today's request. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.